We are back. It's 810 with the family we just love and an update on their remarkable journey. A set of twins born conjoined and successfully separated last year are now thriving. In fact, they're celebrating a new milestone and we're going to catch up with the Fullers in just a moment. Yeah. We will. Just we one know. more moment. Okay. Right after the story. Look, it's you. <laughs> It's been more than a year since Ella and Eliza Fuller made their entrance into the world. From the very beginning, the girls had an inseparable bond. Their bodies conjoined at the abdomen. Their parents, Sandy and Jesse, calling them their hugging twins. After spending months in the NICU, the two were brought in for surgery at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston late June. Dr. Alice King led a team of 17. Six hours later, Dr. King delivered the news everyone had been praying for. Everything went very, very smoothly. Thank you so much. We caught up with a family as they finally got ready to bring the girls home when they were four months old. They're beautiful and happy and seemingly very healthy. Tell us how they are this morning, Sandy. Right now, this second, they're a little <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> but overall, they're good. Tell me about that moment when the surgery is successful and for mm -hmm. the first time you have a moment that so many of us take for granted where yeah. the, the two babies are apart and in two different cribs and you're all able to hold them separately. I was super excited to see them separate and, and doing good and it's definitely getting easier as the days go on. They're getting better, stronger, and uh, we're doing great. Today, the twins are stronger than ever and still love to be by each other's side. The girls are growing right on track. They're eating, they're doing fantastic. They just look absolutely perfect. <laughs> Together with their big sister, Emmy, the Fuller girls continue to bring laughter and joy wherever they go. And after a whirlwind journey, there's even more reason to celebrate. Just a few weeks ago on March 1st, Ella and Eliza turned one. Sandy posting a touching tribute to her daughters on social media, writing, Happy birthday to my sweet girls. Today and every day we celebrate these miracle babies. My heart is filled with so much gratitude. Oh, and this morning, we get to help celebrate. Proud parents, <laughs> Andy and Jess, you're here with their one-year-old birthday girls, Ella and Eliza. So, guys, bless you. Which one's Ella? Which one's Eliza? So, this is Ella. You're Ella. That's <laughs> And that's Eliza. Eliza. So you guys say, I mean, they're truly identical. Yeah. Hard even for you to tell apart. But they do have very distinct personalities, which we are seeing right now. Yeah, tell us. Absolutely. You want to? You so don't. Ella, Ella is uh, the star of the room. She wants the attention all the time. <laughs> Pick me. And then Eliza's more, I guess you'd say like me, laid back. And, uh, yeah, more of the quiet side. She's well, chill. It's so hard to believe it's been eight months since this surgery. And now, have, have we gotten into kind of a normal routine now? And how are the girls the girls doing? I heard the doctor say they're thriving. Oh, they're thriving. They're fantastic. They're doing all the things. We're eating all table food now. What? Um, they got teeth? Teeth, <laughs> yes. We're crawling everywhere, pulling up everywhere. So they're doing great. Oh, wow. my gosh. Yeah. And what's it been like? What about your big girl? How, she's a toddler. She's three. Mm -hmm. And how is she getting along with her little sister, sisters? Oh, she she loves it. She loves making them laugh. She tickles their bellies. Aww. And she's always like, hi, babies. Hi, babies. <laughs> Love you, sister. Love you. So She had to adjust okay. to the attention change. Yeah. 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 She's that. done really great. Well, oh, they, were, sure. they were conjoined at the belly. It was a very difficult surgery. And I remember speaking to you guys right after and just how emotional that was. The girls are clearly so close. Did they, is that what you sense between the two of them? I mean, oh, yes. yeah, tell us. Yes, they're, they're very... Um, I mean, everywhere they go, they're together. Mm -hmm. Every when, every morning when they wake up, the first thing they do, they stand up and they talk to each other they and do. giggle to each other. So same thing going to bed. You'll hear them and they're talking. And yeah. Come here. Okay, I can't take it anymore. Will you come see? Yeah. Come see this crazy come, lady. Hello, come, boo boo. Oh you come goodness. To? You feel like it? Well, she's like, oh no, I know oh, I want no, my daddy back. Oh, daddy. Daddy. Oh. You want this photo? Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's not the movie in my mind. All right, Boo Boo, I don't blame you. Go over to death. Okay, we got another one. Sorry. Okay, goodness. Well, I guess we lost our touch. Yeah, we tried. Come here. What about Eliza? You want mama? You want mama? Oh, come here, Boo Boo. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, 
We tried. It was, it was worth a shot. We couldn't resist so, it. So, are you going to tell them their story? I can't. I was trying to imagine what you'd be telling them as they grow older. But what's? How will you explain what happened? I think that um, it's going to be. Yeah. Um, it's going to be fun for them to even watch. Mm -hmm. Just you know the videos. This like for them to look back and and see this unfold, you know, and read about it. The future's so bright. I mean, yeah. their their prognosis is what, the, essentially, they're like any, as though this never happened at all. Never happened at all. It just it's any long-term effects. Yeah. Um, and uh, just continue on like, like normal. Uh, I love we it. Do, oh, I'm we sorry, do, we, we really just disrupted. We just looked at like the most beautiful family moment, but we couldn't help we ourselves. Couldn't help we it. hope you forgive we're us. Babies. Yes, it's we okay. really are. We're going to make it up to you. Craig has a little something for you. We heard that because it's so hard to tell them apart, you guys still do kind of pink and green, yes. the yes. hospital yes. colors. Yes. Yeah. So we have little gift baskets on. I come green. bearing gifts. A little right. pink and green. There, there you go. go. We got pink for Ella pink? and green for Eliza. Oh, right here. my gosh. There you go. Sweet. Say thank you. Would you like something? You want a little so sweet. Dolly? You want yeah. Oh, oh. oh. all's forgiven. Oh, oh, we got a oh. Oh. oh, yeah. There's big sister. She's, She's like, where's mine? Yeah. <laughs> I have something oh. for you too. We you guys, we want to say thank you. What a beautiful journey you guys have been on, and sharing oh, so it with much. us is pretty special. Yeah. So thank you we so much. We love having you thank here, all our family. You. Thank you. Oh, got it. Thank and you, you for having us. You can see a lot more on Ella and Eliza's journey on our website. It's at today.com. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.